Time to play with some clay. All right, I got more time to work on this today. Thank goodness. I do have a bunch of people coming by, but that won't take long, I don't think. So, we'll just plug through and see what we can get done today. Yeah, I removed the head so I can work on it a little more directly instead of uh, reaching up and over the horse and the body of the gentlemen. All right, I'm going to be right back. I'm not going to show everything I'm doing on this, only because I do this also on uh, the instructional DVD, Creating a Horse and Rider, that I've got available. Uh, actually show me working on the face of the warrior in that one, which was about the same size as this one. You can uh, see a review of that uh, instructional DVD in my, at a link I have in my video description below. Along with a bunch of other uh, DVDs, about nine of them. And, uh, I always start with a skull most of the time only because it helps me to establish the different areas of the face and uh, that's why I'm taking the time to do that. I'm using a skull that I got uh, at a local gas station that has a hole in the top because it had a string that came through and you could hang it out from your mirror. But it's actually a pretty darn good uh, representation of what a head a skull looks like. So I'm using it as uh, my model. You get your reference materials from the weirdest places sometimes.
All right, I put the uh, head on the uh, warrior just to make sure I'm not getting carried away with the size of the head. Because sometimes when you're working on it separately, you can get carried away with the jawline and everything else, and then the head starts getting much bigger than it's supposed to be. And uh, it looks fine. Now the jaw is open because he's yelling. So it, it actually would be a little longer than the proportion of the head length. But I think it works fine. All right, got to work on the eyes. Well, I'm as far as I'm going to get today. It's taken me several hours to get this far. I know it doesn't seem like that because I only show a couple minutes of work, but <laughs> believe me, it's, it's taken quite a while. This, this head is, let me, this head is a just about a one inch long from top of the head to the bottom of the chin. So you can imagine it's it's small to be working on. So it takes a little bit of a intensity when you're looking, working on something that's small. And I see where places where I got to fill in, and uh, I need to work on those eyes a little bit more. I don't know if I'll be here tomorrow. Uh, I didn't know I was going to be here at all this week. It's been a busy week, and uh, I just finally had a little time to get down here and work today. So, if I'm not here tomorrow, I'll be here Monday. And if not Monday, Tuesday. <laughs> All right, good night, everybody, and I'll see you next time. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.